I don't care what kind of game you are, you do not need 10 minute credits at the end of your game. I guess a lot of people worked on this, but still, I mean, that, 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 bit, the, that bit at the end with Lily was sweet and stuff, but... <sighs> Anyways, hello everyone, it's Blaster, and welcome back to episode number 43 of our Pokemon Sun Let's Play here on the channel. Oh, something happening? I'm gonna pause. Oh, that just says the end. That's a nice the end screen, though. Anyways, welcome back to episode number 43 of our Pokemon Sun Let's Play here on the channel. You can see the screen, probably, yeah. Anyways, yeah, in the last episode, you guys, we took on the champion of the Alola region. And, yeah. And, uh, we also had, we also were forced to do a shit ton of stuff, including the fighting and catching Tapu Koko, and a ridiculously long cutscene. Uh, with the festival, and then how came, and we couldn't move on our own. I was hoping we could move on our own to let him in, but we couldn't. And they told us that Lily's leaving, and that was all that. And then I kind of just skipped the dialogue, because I was just in a hurry to end it off. And I apologize if any of you just didn't like the, episode, the last episode for those reasons. Anyways, today, we will begin the post-game, although I don't know how much we're going to get done, because it's the first 12 minutes of this. You know, I'm just going to shut up and just go, because... I was originally going to make it, like, 20 extra minutes longer. What the hell? There's a thing in our room. Yeah, I was going to make it 20 extra minutes longer to make up for the credits, but I'm not going to have a 30-plus minute episode. I'm sorry. Unless a lot of shit goes down. What's in here? Okay. Nothing else. Okay. There's our ditto thing. All right. Let's slide down here. Let's see what's going moving and shaking over here. Looks like you slept well, Techno. Oh, so. Alola. The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Yeah, that's right. The glittering coin. Oh, there's that Cantonian Mews. Look at that shiny coin in your head, kitty kitty. And it's like, yes. Look at the shiny coin on my head. I finally got my grants to go out and be in serious in a battle against me. I got some sweet roars, so they did say no good luck is best shared. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I mean, we can't use the last one because apparently... Nintendo hates having Prima and Zemo on YouTube, although I saw an all Zemo video from Nappy where Prima and Zemo was played just fine without like without any extra effects and no problems, so I don't know. Thank you, Power Out Tune Tech, no? That's so nice of you, how thank you. Aw, oh, no problem, Andy. Say, can't do like really far away? How, how, how the hell would I know? I, I'm gonna say it's pretty far? Well, that's true, that's not the next island or anything. But it's so close not to visit whenever you want to. Alright, there's a side. I'm gonna get stronger and stronger. I'm gonna travel the world with my Pokemon. I'm gonna find Lily and my dad, too. Your father? Oh, yeah, him. <laughs> He's a strong trainer, real strong, I think. But I guess you really hate being the son of a Kahuna and everything, yeah? So he works far away from Alola these days. Interesting, I wonder who that is. I'm thinking I'll train myself with a battle tree and then beat you, Techno. And I'll be a champion next time I see him. Seems like a nice little present, eh? <laughs> What's a battle tree, how? Oh, it's the same way deep on Pony Island. Anyone, anybody, anybody who's past the Island Challenge, or strong enough to anyway, can battle out their Pokemon, or so they say. I guess I had to add that little, or strong enough to, because Howe didn't technically beat it, but he's strong enough to, so. Also, the best ever battle of that Pokemon League sometimes. No backing out. Look, your boy is swagged out in that slugger gear. That's right. Now that you're a different champion, everyone's gonna want to challenge you. Now that's right. Okay, we get it. You have a shiny coin on your head. You need to keep pointing it. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's... Oh, that's cool. Alright. Oh, it's a whale? Is that a whale more pale? Interesting. What? Hey, you. Don't know what they call techno? Uh, yeah? Hmm. It's an interesting part of the game. So, this. The enigmatic card. The what? <laughs> Just to you know where you're in. No one, no one else has to know my visit or that card. Oh, is that that old, weird old man from the demo? Interesting. So, are, are we supposed to read it? Alright, let's uh, take a look at it. Oh, we, okay, we can't read it. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, Let me read the description. Maybe it says something. Go to a guest room in the Column Hotel on Route 8. Well, I guess that's, what, I guess that's our next mission. So, let's hop on our handy dandy Charizard and slippy slide over to Route 8. 
See, I know exactly what it is because that's the that's the one, that's the route with the Pokemon Center where you can buy quick balls. Fun fact for you guys, in case you didn't already know where you can get quick balls. Really, there you go. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't because I would assume you would talk to every Pokemon Pokemon Mart out there and try to find one with the quick balls because quick balls are quite useful. Anyways, I guess we're supposed to head in here. I thought this was Gladion's room, or is Gladion the one who wants to meet us? Oh sh. I'm still in the, the, the woman speaking. So you actually came. I feel like that's kind of what some of the voice I gave loose to me, and I gave a different voice. You all must be Techno, mustn't you? Please, you'll have to forgive me for my stunning disguise earlier. I'm very grateful that you accepted my invitation to join me here in my room. My name is Lukar. I am a member of the, of the International Police. And this figure here is my boss. Hmm. Hmm. I'm welcome with it's an honor to meet you, of course, the first champion of Alola. Please forgive our rude summons. My name is Annabelle. I'm the head of a secret division within the International Police. We are the UB Task Force. The UB Task Force. Please forgive me for the most sudden question, but I must ask. Is it true that you encountered UB Symbiont? Uh, what? Yes, UB-01 Symbiont. I suppose you're not as nightly- Oh. The National Police refer to other UB led by code name, that's Symbiont there. I believe you might recognize that, uh, recognize that as the Pokemon that the woman loose me infused with. Now that we have cleared that up, please allow me to ask once more. Did you come in contact with Symbiont that is with Nihiligo? Ah, I beat it. <laughs> Look, I was like, what the fuck? How'd you beat it? This is what we had thought. That seems to settle the chief. Listen, everything that we already showed you is highly classified information. We must ask that you keep all that you learned here to yourself. The internet was losing being caused. Symbiote wasn't the only UB to appear from the Ultra Wormhole that was temporarily opened at the time. We have confirmed the presence of another Symbiote other than the one you encountered. We have report, see, received reports of sightings of several other types of UBs. The UBs are dangerous beings whose powers exceed the boundaries and logic of our world. And they will drop rudely into this world against their own will. We can only expect that they will be extremely wary and combative. And so you have been tasked with three duties. First, to investigate the ecology of these unidentified UBs. The second is to look for out for any UBs and protect the people, protect the people from any harm. And the third is to either protect the UBs or destroy them. If the UBs are destructive beings that will seek some sort of revenge upon our world, then the order from above is to release them completely. But neither myself nor Luck would like to see that happen. Even if they are UBs, they are living creatures. We would like to protect them and save them. But protecting the UBs, it would seem it would seem to amount to catching them. That's a more difficult task than simply destroying them would be. This is like a time slowly morphing to my Indian accent. We do not have we do not currently have the battle power necessary to achieve such a goal. And so when you finally arrive at the point, let me let us dispense with any pretense. We will for you the champion of Lola to lend us your assistance. You know that's why I was just uh walking it. Why don't you join our team? Sure. You said thank you very much. So that means keep. I know, Mr. Lucker. It's only formality, but I still must test you to ensure that you can handle this job. Oh shit. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, I was watching a, a video from Nappy, and he was talking about how, like, they should have a Pokemon game where you do all the, like, the... For example, if, you, if, you, if they did it with this in Sun and Moon, you do all the trials first, become the champion, and then go back, and then go back, and that's when all the story stuff with the evil team would happen. Because it makes sense, like, actually having a, the champion of the region to deal with the shit, instead of just ha calling a random ass... 10 year old, or I guess in this case 11 year old, to do the thing, but I guess in this case they're kind of in a way doing that by having a, not just a random 10, 11 year old hang, handle the Ultra Beast, but actually like the champion. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to you. I have no idea who, who we're leading with. Oh yeah, we should probably have done team recap, but I mean, you know, it wasn't really that prevalent because we had like 10 minute credits. Alright, so we have Pokemon Trainer Annabelle. Alright, Annabelle. It's an Arakazam! Wait, are we still leading with Rufus? Cause that, we were leading with Rufus at the... Yeah, this is perfect. This is hecking perfect, my dudes. You have five Pokemon. Bro, you are level 61. All right, then. Focus Blast. That's gonna annihilate us. Okay, then. Um, problem? <laughs> Maybe we can try Buzzkill? Yo, she's level 60 fucking one. Jesus. Alright, Bug Buzz. Psychic. Oh my. Okay, Buzz Kill, Buzz Kill 11. Buzz Kill 11. Buzz Kill come through. No, one shot. One shot, please. Thank you, Buzz Kill. Alright, Alexander goes down. 
Alright. <laughs> Rufus got annihilated. <laughs> oh my god. Salamence! Bro! Calm yourself. It is not that serious, Annabelle. It really is not that serious. Intimidate, okay, that's fine, because we're a special attacker, biatch. You know what? Do you want to go ahead and test out our... Our Sub-Zero Sl- Nah, you know what, let's not. Let's not for now. Let's wait until if we need to, if we need to use it later. You have Fire Fang that blows us back. <laughs> blows us away. We live on 14, though, and this should kill because it's quite effective. Yes, okay. Alright, so Salamence is out of here. And QB is level 56. Oh my god, are we actually underleveled for this? Snorlax! Oh heck. <laughs> oh heck. Alright, well, let's try to go into our most... Let's try to go into zero and try to Aqua Tail you. Uh, you're gonna be level 61, though. Annabelle, what the fuck? Alright, well, squad up. Squid diddly up. Alright, let's go for Aqua Tail, because I'm pretty sure Snorlax has less physical... Yo, do you guys remember when we missed two Aqua Tails in a row in the last episode, and now we're missing... <sighs> what the fuck, Zero? What is with you and missing Aqua Tails? You've been... The three... Uh, I've gone for Aqua Tail, like... I've probably gone... Like, the last three times I've gone for Aqua Tail with you, you've missed every single time. Like, what the fuck? Zero, I swear to God. Thank you. Like, what does that have, like, 90% accuracy? Let me check, let me check, let me check right now, let me check right now, actually. LNA. 90-90. 90, 90 power, 90 act. Okay, I see how it is. Just, just, just that. <laughs> I like how the text actually goes. Crunk. Alright, yeah, just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. It's not right. Apparently, Zero is fucking use. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> They're fucking useless, but Zero actually has uh, come through a couple times. Alright, well, let's just go into Diamond, and we should be able to just brick break you. And you're at, and you're at like, below half, so it should kill. Alright, brick break. Come on, Diamond, you got this. Yeah, there you go, Diamond. There you go, Diamond. That landed a critical hit. Thank you, Diamond. We didn't really use Diamond a lot in the last couple of episodes. Huh. Well, Diamond's just level 56, so that's cool. That's cool. You're pretty good at uh, speed in, the, at, in an attack. Miss Magius? Miss Magius? Um, stay in. We have, I mean, we've crunked on Diamond, so why take fuck not? Why not stay in? Why not stay in? Right, let's go for Crunch. Energy, of course. I don't want to try this neck because we're frail as hell. Yep. <sighs> Sigh. Alright, uh, well, Precious is the only Pokemon we have left at, like, not pitiful levels of HP, so. I'm gonna need you to try to eat up a. Uh, Alright, let's go for Petal Blizzard. I'm gonna need you to eat up a Shadow Ball. Precious? You are my Precious. Yes, Precious. Special Defense Drop, but we should kill because I'm pretty sure Miss Magus is pretty frail. JK, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and revive. Do we not have any, do we seriously not have any? Oh wait, no, no, it's in the wrong pocket. <laughs> we have one max revive left, Jesus. Now let's go ahead and revive Rufus. Beca uh, because unless you have fucking Focus Blast, we should be okay with uh, Rufus in there. I'm sorry, Precious, but sometimes sacrifice must be made. All right, Rufus. Yo, we are getting our ass handed to us. Jesus. Alright, Darkest Lariat. Thunderbolt. Okay, that's the best thing you have. That's fine. We should be able to eat that up. Yeah. Rufus has the entire squad on his back. He got blown back by that Focus Blast. But it was an Alakazam. You can't really blame him. This Maggie just goes down. What is your last Pokemon? <laughs> it can be a Buzzwool. Uh, I don't know. Like a fucking... Aegislash. No, Weavile, okay, that's, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. 
Uh, we should be able to handle a Weavile and before you have low kick. <laughs> in before you have low kick. Oh yeah, speaking of Aegis Slash. Do you know do you guys know that oh brick break, that's that works too. Do you guys know that Aegis Slash Rufus the God Anyways. Uh did you guys know that Aegis Slash was banned to uh A G, anything goes? So Aegis Slash is no longer Ubers. Aegis Slash is too good for Ubers. Aegis Slash is now A G, motherfucker. Rufus makes a valiant sacrifice to not get her last Pokemon. Indeed. Bro, she was <laughs> we have two Pokemon left alive right now, and they're both at, like, red HP. Thank you, I believe the testing is complete. I see no problem with all of your skills. Rather, I would have you- I'll have to praise you for them. I hope that we will do fine work together. So you know you are a member of our team, young Techno. You are most welcome. So now, there is no time to do anything. Let us begin your first job. The Chief and I will settle to gather more information about the new bees. Want to ask you to visit the sacred lives at the bottom of the Ace of Paradise. Oh shit, okay. Then you should find our other partner in his- in this elevator. In this endeavor, the, vi the vice chief of the alone branch of the Aether Foundation, Miss Wiki. Oh, so that's why she was helping us. She's actually a member of them. One of us. One of us. She'll know why you've come. Now set forth, young Tickno. I know my Russian accent is probably the finest of shit, but I do not give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, you guys. I realize that this may not have been the most... Substantial episode, but you know, 10 minute credits can't really do much about that. So, anyways, I think that even even if we were still like hadn't done the credits, that we would be like 17 minutes. I feel like right here is still gonna surprise anyone to wrap up this episode, just because the next episode will head to the Ace Foundation and see what um, Wiki is doing over there and stuff. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Sun, even though there wasn't really much to do with it, but whatever. Anyways. Make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you all already know your support is greatly appreciated. With that, I'm not going to vote. Thank you all for your support and thanks for the video, but we out this bitch. Peace.